This is a screencast for creating a class calendar and embedding it onto your Google site. So the first place you want to start is in your calendar spot on um, Google Apps for Education. And on the left hand side you'll see My Calendars and underneath there you'll have a calendar that has your name on it which is your district calendar that will have all of your appointments and things. So that is not the one you want to uh, link to your Google site for all to see. So you'll want to create a class calendar by going to the right of My Calendars clicking on the drop down arrow and choosing create new calendar. You can call it class calendar or whatever is appropriate for you. And then before you create that calendar, go down and click on share this calendar with others and make this calendar public. When you put it out on the website, you'll want others to be able to view it, parents and kids from outside of the school, so you'll want to make it public for them to see. And then you can go to create calendar. And then you'll see it show up on the left hand side. Right here it's called Class Calendar. And the drop down arrow next to it gives you lots of different choices for editing and changing things. Two of the things I want to point out here, one is that you can change the color so that when you overlay it with your other calendars you can identify where those class calendar appointments are. And the second is that you can create events for this calendar right within that drop down arrow. So let's create an event now and then we'll embed it. We'll do a test event for this day, all day, and save it on our class calendar. The next step now is to link this class calendar only to our Google site. So I'm going to go over to my test site that I have here. I've already created the page class calendar that I want to embed it on. So I'm going to go to that page and click on the edit button. And then all my editing tools come up and I want to insert a calendar and this will bring up all the different calendars that I have available to insert and I'm going to look for the one I just created which is the class calendar put a check mark in that box and say select there's options for how you want it to display and I'm going to hit save and it pops it right into my calendar spot and I can center it if I'd like to I can change things with wrapping around other text if I'd like to and there's some setting options here that you can change once you save it, it will show up as your calendar. And as you can see, that test event that we created is linked right to this page. Now that your calendar is linked to your web page and is public on the web, as you'd like to add events to this calendar, you will want to go back to your Google Apps for Education where you check your mail and things, go to the calendar spot there, and this is where you actually put in the new events and they will automatically link out to that website. So you can go to your class calendar again, create a new event, choose the date that you want to create the event on. If it's an all day or if it has certain times, make sure it's going to your class calendar and then hit save. And you will see it show up on your class calendar page. Let me refresh the page as a new event right here. That's it.